G'day guys and girls, it is Dominic here from Yak Hunters Australia and today we're coming to you from the banks of the Brisbane River wanting to tell you a little bit about a new kayak that has come into the stable of pedal kayaks brought out by Bay Sports Australia. So what we have here is the Pedal Pro 376 Superlight. Now we're going to get into what Superlight means in just a moment but what we want to do is take you through the tail of the tape of this kayak, tell you all about it so you can make the best decision that you can when looking for your next kayak. So the key point of difference uh, that really sets this kayak aside from many others that you're going to find on the market is its lightweight construction. So it's what's called an ABS thermoform construction rather than your standard polyethylene uh, construction. So now we know a little bit more about the thermoform design, let's go through the tail of the tape for this particular kayak. As the name suggests, it is 376 centimeters long and 87 centimeters wide. Let's go from tip to tail and walk you through the features of this kayak. So with most kayaks, you're gonna have your handle up the front, so they've ticked the box there. Uh, we come uh, into the front storage well, which has removable bungees, so you can put any of your gear that you're gonna need for the day out on the water in here and have it secured with the bungee. We've got our first set of, of rails here. So there are three different sets of rails across this kayak. Now for, you, for those that are new to either kayak fishing or recreational kayaking, you might find these on a lot of kayaks, but they are really, really important. So this is where you're gonna be able to put things like camera booms. As we come further down, you're gonna have things like fish finders. And then at the back, you may put things like navigational lights or uh, beacon lights to be able to keep you nice and safe on the water. You're also gonna be able to put your rod holders and anything else that comes out via uh, various brands that will enable you to attach things to your kayak. We've got the first storage well at the front here. A simple twist and pull open and you can store your items in the center of the kayak. Coming a little bit further down, You've got the first two of four uh, rod holders. So you can stick your fishing rods in here when you don't need them in your hands. Progressing further down to probably the next most exciting feature of this kayak, and that is the pedal drive system. So Bay Sports calls this their impulse drive. Now, the thing that is much like the rest of the kayak is pretty exciting here is how light this pedal drive system is. It honestly is the lightest pedal drive that I have ever picked up uh, in my years of kayak fishing. Like most uh, pedal drives, this one here, a very simple forward action, stop and reversing action. So not too much effort to be able to get forwards and backwards in the water. Coming further back, you've got your second set of handles here to be able to uh, you know, carry this kayak down to the water. And then a great little feature upgrade I've seen from some of the other Bay Sports models uh, is the rudder system here. So the rudder system, very simply, you can uh, attach to one of the rails. You can put it on the right-hand side of the kayak, or if you're a lefty, throw it on the other side. And as you're traveling forwards or backwards, a very simple motion of pushing right, you're gonna go right, you pull it to the left, and you're gonna start going left. So. Essentially, you're gonna be propelling yourself forward with your feet, you'll have one hand maneuvering you about, which makes it a really, really easy day on the water. 
We come back now to the seat. Now, at the risk of repeating myself here, if you've seen any of the other videos that we've put up for base sports, one of the things I love about a seat here is that it is raised off the bottom of the kayak. Now, being a, having a raised seat, one, it's going to be more comfortable, but it's more comfortable for a couple of key reasons. The first one is that your backside is off the bottom of the kayak. No matter how waterproof a kayak is, you are always gonna get water into the bottom of your kayak. So it's important to keep your backside up out of that water and keep you dry whilst you're out there. The second part of having a raised kayak seat is how much more comfortable and adjustable it is uh, for your back positions. Anyone with lower back problems, you might think sitting in a kayak all day is going to be a real issue. As long as you've got a raised, comfortable seat, you're going to be a-okay. So this one here um, is able to be slid forwards or backwards, depending on the length of your legs, so you can make sure that you're in a comfortable position to access the pedals. Once you have it in position, you simply tighten the four little screws here and you're all set in a comfortable position. You've also got the ability to be able to tighten or loosen straps on the sides here to be able to adjust your uh, upright position. Coming further back, you've got the second set of rod holders, another set of track rails, and another well at the back here, once again with bungees that you can take off to make sure that you're securing your gear. Coming towards the very end of the kayak now, we have another storage hatch that you can pop open and put more things in the hull of the, uh, of the vessel. And then coming to the very back, you've got your rudder system. Now, a nice little upgrade on this one compared to other rudder systems of a similar design is instead of having one pulley rope where you've got to pull side to side, this particular kayak has two different pulley systems. You've got one on the side here that will pull the rudder up and on the other side, a simple one to pull it back down. So if you're in a seated position, being able to get rudder up and down as you're coming into the shore is going to be key. Last thing, you've got another little uh, uh, handle here to help you carry things around. So that's the tail of the tape of this particular kayak. I like the little feature upgrades that they've done. Let's go and have a look to see how this thing performs. Okay guys, so we've had the Pedal Pro 376 Superlight on the water and it's time to give you a bit of feedback on you know, what it feels like out there. So the first thing that really uh, you know, came to my attention was how buoyant this kayak is. It's weight rated to 220 kilos and you saw me jumping up and down, rocking from side to side. You know, this really is a buoyant boat. Um, the next thing that uh, uh, was really a, a pleasant uh, result of, of the one water test was how manoeuvrable this kayak was. Uh, you saw me you know, at full lock doing 360s and had a really tight turning circle. So the ease of being able to go left and right and forwards and backwards in this kayak you know, is a real plus. And for someone, if you've never been in a, in a pedal kayak before, it's gonna be very easy for you to be able to get in and, uh, and maneuver about on this one. It was really, really comfortable. I could stand up. So if you're you know, kayak fishing, you can start casting with no problems at all. Plenty of leg space for me. And overall, a really neat little package combined with only being 31 kilos in weight. So I can see this kayak having many applications, whether it be for leisure or for fishing. So what's this gonna cost you? On the website right now, it is $2,200. And $99. So for me, a really nice middle uh, level priced kayak for you to be able to get out on their water, whether you're an experienced fisherman 
or the first time out on the water uh, as uh, you know, enjoying kayaking as a le leisure time hobby. So that's it from us, from Yak Hunters Australia. Hope you enjoyed the, the review and get out there on a kayak.